Unfortunately, I haven't got many recollections of my dad because um, when the time that I can remember, he only ever came to where we were living at Electric Parade Woodford to see my mother and invariably they had arguments because dad would have been off doing something or other and he just returned home when maybe he wanted some money and if mum wouldn't give it to him then there would be a to-do and he would go off. Um, I have no recollections of him being what I would call a family dad. We never sat as a family round a table or I can never remember him living in the house with us. Um, I see him through different eyes as to the boxer that he undoubtedly was, but as a dad, to me, he was a big disappointment. Um, the only time that he bought me a present that I can remember, um, he came round one day with a bicycle, a Hercules bicycle, brand new, but it was miles too big for me and I couldn't ride it. So it just showed that he hadn't got any idea of my size compared to the present. Um, and then, of course, as I got older and I was interested in the riding, um, he used to stand by a lamppost on the opposite side of the road to watch me go riding, which I did every day virtually, but he would come there on odd occasions, maybe once a week, once a fortnight, I would see him standing, watching. But I suppose being a, a young girl, and he looked very much like a tramp, that I felt uncomfortable. And in hindsight now, perhaps I should have gone over and spoken to him, but to me, at, as a young girl, he was rather a bit of an embarrassment, particularly because he, whenever he came to see us and mum, there was always big arguments, and possibly more so because there used to be a bit of a fracas sometimes in another room. So therefore, I didn't see him as a very the person that I would like to go and make contact with. And when he had the good times, of course, he was very lavish with his money, um, but unfortunately not always to mum. And, uh, you know, mum had to go out to work to keep us, obviously, although we did live with um, my grandparents at that time. But then mum went off to work and I went to school. Um, <clears throat> but they were there for me when I got home. But as for dad, I don't know quite where he was. Never. No. Not that I can remember. I have a photograph in the album of me <clears throat> being a tiny well, They top. always seemed to go to Cliftonville uh, when they went down to the coast. Um, and when I went with my mother and her sisters, we always went to Cliftonville, but Dad was never there. Well, when <coughs> my mother remarried, um, I didn't really get on with the new gentleman. Um, we were okay together, but I couldn't really live in the same house with them and it was best that I did otherwise. So I moved out and had a, a room in Walthamstow and went to work from there. So, of course, I broke that area of where I was 
always doing the same routine of going to work or riding or whatever it was. And then I got a job in London and the whole pattern changed. So, of course, if he did go to George Lane and Woodford, I was never, never there. So, of course, after that time, I never, ever had any contact with him or any of the, his family. Mum never had any contact, as far as I was aware, of the Baldock family, not uh, in the latter years. Yes, I met them uh, at the Lieber meeting. Uh, Martin invited me to go with him and I met the three girls. Um, but apart from that, no, I haven't. Uh, I've written to Graham and was hoping to meet him at the book launch, but um, for some reason he didn't arrive. But we met, obviously, a lot of the Baldock family at the book launch as well, and people that I've never, ever known existed. They did, yes, but they saw him through different eyes once again too. You know, he was always a lovely chap, and uh, um, you see th people through different eyes, don't you? Um, and I don't doubt he was a very generous person. Um, but he did like to be the big spender and have his entourage. And I think in those days, boxers did have a big following. And I think while you were in the money, everybody was there quite happily to tail around with you and have the money spent on them. Um, and of course, as soon as they started to go downhill, all those people disappeared. 